Hey, good evening, my friends. Boy, I got a good, uh, pleasant surprise when I got home. Uh, <coughs> my wife had been to the mailbox, and laying on the bar was a big envelope, and uh, looked at it, and of course I seen uh, um, Malvern, Pennsylvania on it, and I knew where it came from, uh, from our good friend Guy Witherspoon, and Guy, I don't know what's in here, I've, I've unsealed it, haven't looked inside yet, but I unsealed it for time constraints, but brother, you didn't have to do this, I, I, you didn't, you certainly did not uh, have to send me anything, but I am, I'm, I will be tickled with whatever it is, I can, I can assure you. We got rain down at the river market today, and uh, so we were home early, which I didn't mind. I was, I was so tired from that trip to to uh, <clears throat> Lafayette and Opelousas last night. But house cleaning, I'm smoking some Seven Seas from Piper's. Haven, MacBerry, and I did not, and this is in Lafayette, and I did not ask the guy which blend of Seven Seas this is, but it's good. I'm going to call Monday. He didn't have but one blend of the Seven Seas in bulk, and I'm going to find out Monday which it is. I just got to where, I mean, I, I, I buy the tins, and I, I collect a few tins, but I prefer, now that I can get my bearings in bulk, and, and been able to for a few years, I just, this is my first purchase in bulk, and uh, I just prefer bulk. It just seems fresher. Um, that's just my preference. And I'm smoking it in this pipe that was gifted to me by Uncle Raggy, Ray Ragsdale. This is a little handmade golden pipe from the 1970s. It's one of two that he gifted me. Both of them are very similar, and uh, except the other one is a freehand. And it's a golden pipe, and best I can tell, this was a pipe. And I'm going to guess it was something similar to, in that era, like a Jake Hackard, or, you know, someone that handmade some back in those, back in that era. But truly a good smoking pipe. And um, I've got South, I've got Seven Seas MacBerry in it, and it's smoking great. All right, on with the Gapo. I say I have not even looked inside. I've unsealed it just while I go with an eye. So this is it, and uh, we're gonna look inside. <coughs> Some bubble wrap and a note, and it says. Just a little something to thank you for your generosity. Thanks again, guy. Yeah, eh. well, guy, you're certainly welcome. And this was <coughs> this pleasant surprise was a, you surely didn't need to do that, but I thank you. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, from Guy Witherspoon, folks, this is let's see, get this. This is what he sent. And, it's not the back, I can tell you that, so, oh my goodness, it is a pipe, it is a pipe, oh wow, a K Woody guy, man, <laughs> look at that, man, I don't know if this is their Saxon. Yep, it is a Saxon. That's I've got a Saxon. So this would be a good sister pipe to that one. Love the stem on it. Little dent pipe. Man, guy. Thank you so much. I I just you know, guy, to have one of your pipes is just beyond what words can say. I mean, it's just like an honor to own one of your pipes. It just, you can't imagine. 
if you hadn't subscribed to Guy Witherspoon, he, he is truly a good guy. I can't hardly go to bed at night without my nightly dose of Guy Witherspoon. I, I sent him a private message. He didn't make one in two or three days. If I get to missing him, I, I don't, I'll, uh, I, I'll send him a PM because <laughs> he, um, I've gotten used to it and I have to go back and rock, watch reruns. So, uh, <laughs> it is a nightly deal for me. When I go to bed, I take my laptop with me and, um, I know this, I may get chastised for this, but I take a pipe to bed with me. I fire it up. It's perfectly, you know, safe. But I, I watch, um, several videos and his is one of the last I watch at night. And, uh, I just, uh, puts me in a relaxing mood, even if he's ranting <laughs> about something, which is rare, but we all have our moments. It relaxes me, and I drift right off to sleep. But there again, yeah, thank you so much. This was so unnecessary, but yet so appreciated. I will be smoking this one very soon, probably on my next video. Wow. Thank you a bunch. Thank you, thank you. So I, you know, I was thinking the other day about adding another K Woody to my line, and so this this came, this will be my second K Woody. Yeah, I, I know to those of you that don't know Guy, and and those that do know and already know this, but Guy's a big K Woody collector. If you've got a question about a K Woody, the fact of the matter is, if you've got a question about pipes in general, he is your go-to man, especially on the K Woodies. He can tell you about anything. He is. Uh, he is a K. Woody um, uh, guru. He he knows his business on those, and of course he's been a pipe smoker for years, and can just about if you got an a uh, question, he can answer it. A uh, guy with a spoon, and um, uh, I've I've got a few Dr. Gray bows that I I collect. I don't have many, probably six or so, and of course he does the K. Woodies. But I was thinking about adding adding one to it. I and uh, so this. Uh, this 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 came at a good time, guys. Yeah, thank you. And this leads me to a Piper Phil. Last video was I don't remember the exact title of it, but you know why do we make these videos or whatever? And I agree with basically what he said and most everybody else. It's a camaraderie. It's the friendship. You know, I've got 440 some odd subs, but about 40 true followers. You know, my videos, I, I'm, I'm just like Piper Phil said, we, you know, we don't get a ton of hits. We're not getting these two and three and 400 hits views when we throw one out, and that's fine. That's not what that's not what it's about. I get from 40 to 60 on the average, but those 40 to 60s are my are, are people that we follow in our circle and we communicate back and forth with and it's a friendship you know their guy with a spoon is in pennsylvania um you got piper phil um and golly piper uh was phil let's see he's um in the northwest man it's just it's just it's eluding me right now but you got alfred in alabama uh, um Georgia, excuse me. I didn't. Uh, I know them. Them's fighting words, maybe over there. <laughs> you got Wallace in Alabama. You got uh, uh, Mike that just moved to the Carolinas. Uh, you've got uh, Mike and Angela in Kentucky. Keith over in England. You have got uh, and Lord, I'm, and when I start naming names, I always forget somebody. But uh, uh, that are this near and dear to me. But you know, you've got the thing. That is, you got people all over the country. And we're in each other's homes. You're in my home here in Louisiana. I'm in your home in Pennsylvania or in Great Britain or in Florida or in, you know, Georgia, wherever, Kentucky, Alabama, Texas. We're, we're in each other's homes and we may never meet each other. Um, there's a few of us here in Louisiana that have met and some guys in South Mississippi that, that have come together. But the chances of me meeting Keith Graham is slim to none or AJ. Probably never meet Guy Witherspoon, but we've met each other and we're friends and we communicate, and that's why I do these, and 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 that's why that was the pretty much the answer that was given on that video. 
Uh, you know, I know, I know YouTube has changed here in the last two or three days, and I absolutely hate it. I've seen some people that threw up some videos, well, I'm just going to quit. I'm not going to quit. I mean, you know, as long as I can communicate with my friends on here, it's worth it. I may have to jump through an extra hoop. And there are some, this is the, the video I did last night. It was the first one I could, I could comment on every post, on every comment I could reply back. The one before that, half of them, I couldn't even reply back. So maybe they've got that in fix now. And guy, I know you told me to call you. I've been on the road, buddy. I will call you Monday. Uh, I, it's going to be tough tomorrow, but I want to I want to touch base with you on the phone, too. So I'll be hollering at you Monday if I can catch you around. If not, I'll catch up with you. Um, and I was a little late watching your video, so I didn't see that until last night. And today has been a hectic day. But anyway, we're about to get there, and tomorrow's going to be hectic, too. So Monday, I'll be off. We'll have a lot going on, and I'll holler at you. But anyway, look, there again, yeah, I thank you so much. It was it was unnecessary, but greatly appreciated. And this is going to go nicely in my collection. And I thank you for it. If you hadn't subscribed, old guy, go ahead and do it. You'll be glad you did. You will be really glad you did. We're going to shut her down. We'll catch you next time. Have a good night, and God bless.